Hey to you all. I'm so excited uh, to show you my new uh, stencil um, that a stencil girl uh, produced and they're going to to be on the market I think on May and these are the two amazing uh, designs that they made for me and I couldn't believe how beautiful they came out and um, and I wanted to to film like a short video and show you uh, what you can do with them and these are just a few um, uh, things I did um, to try to try the stencil out and I designed these stencils specially uh, to be used um, from any direction you would like so for example this stencil which is this which is which is this one, the eye, you can uh, turn it around and you can use all, all the sides. And you can use it as a whole or, or you can just use the eye, for example, or you can just use a few of the houses. You can, you know, uh, cut it in the middle and just uh, use half of it. Um, you can use it with so many um, uh, materials and uh, techniques. Um, this is the tree stencil, which is this one. I'm sorry, I already used it so much because I really lo love it. Uh, I think you can see it better here. And this one, you can use um, either like half of it on this side and then half of it on this side or you can use the whole tree or you can just use the tree so they are very uh, versatile you can use them in so many ways and you can combine them it's it's a set this is a combination um, of the two stencils um, another combination you can use um, so I just have here uh, so many, so many uh, um, tries, and I think this is the last one. Maybe that I wanted to show you uh, how, how you can um, um, combine um, images and uh, and colors after you you use the stencils. Uh, this is what I usually do. I'm going actually to to use this stencil on a watercolor background. So the first stage will be to create the, the background in a very uh, kind of light watercolor way. Um, so I'm just adding adding my colors. As you see, I uh, did another um, page um, with a little bit different colors because I felt it's more uh, my colors. Um, and now I'm going to take uh, Stazon ink and I'm going to take this, this stencil and I'm just going to concentrate on the right side. We'll put it like that. And I just take a little bit of the um, ink and I keep inserting it into the, into the stencil. And I'm only uh, concentrating on, on this side of the, um, of the tree.
Wait. <clears throat> I see that it's coming out really beautifully. And um, I also want to add a little bit of gold into it. So I'm going to kind of um, take just a little bit of gold. And I want to add it around the sun. And because I glue, glued it with washi tape on one side, I can, can do like that and just... Uh, and now I am going to add a little bit more of gold in other places. And be careful not to do it too much because... Otherwise it can bleed. I especially put uh, the gold in some places. Yes, I really love. I, I love it like that. And now I'm going to stop, and I'm going to um, move my stencil to the other side. So I want to actually create like a, a kind of a portal, like a door. So this will be half of the side, half of the tree. And then here I will do the other half. And in the middle, I will put more images. So I'm going to move it to this side and create a very um, kind of thick tree, tree tank. So for this uh, side, I'm going to take another uh, uh, other colors, not necessarily the uh, the black one, and I'm thinking maybe using the white. Um, uh, I'm going to do a very uh, small trial because I don't want to that the color will be too thin. So I'm just taking just a little bit and I'm going to check how it looks. Let's see. Mm, this is great. disappearing so I think I will have to add more um, a bit stronger color um, I might add them this this color and I just put a little bit on the map wow oh, it's very hard to to just put a, a little bit and I'm just taking a little bit and then I, I pounce it a few times on the side. Otherwise, it's too much. And let's see. Mm, this is much better. So you see how I build the tree um, layers uh, very gently with uh, color after color. I like working with inks, but you can work in any, actually any material you want. Uh, 
And as you see, there are, uh, because I use different materials, some of the materials, they can bleed. So the ink, the red ink, actually bleed a little bit in this side. And I kind of like it. I don't like that everything looks the same. And I think I will, I will use it when I'm uh, continuing the spread. Hey, I'm back with a few images that I collected and I have so many more here. Uh, I had a hard time finding the right images because I kind of wanted to express the idea of uh, life stages um, and how you need to be um, able to look uh, for the past uh, to find answer in order to decide what you are doing next in the future. Um, this is a, a team that I'm working on all the time, uh, looking back to the past and then uh, reflecting on the future. So um, I find this image, beautiful image of a child. And this is actually why I keep going back to the inner child. Because I, I believe that in, in childhood we have so many resources that we can... Um, think about. enough and I will let it dry for a minute and then I will uh, start to connect the images with uh, Tombow markers. So right now I'm going to show you how I'm kind of uh, continuing the stencil um, and creating a connection. Um, and what I love to do is I love to uh, take whatever there is on the page and just continuing the line. And in this way, I create my own uh, version of the stencil. And um, so it's, it's only giving me inspiration to continue it in another way. So for example, I can um, also, if there are hearts, for example, here I can continue and make another heart. Um, and I love these images. Um, I might make another image here. So I'm kind of continuing and creating connection between the image images on the on the spread. And I especially love to take the stencil to the um, end of the page to create kind of a flow. Um, And you can also uh, paint, paint with uh, um, any markers you want. You can paint the, the small houses.
and this is creating also the second um, layer of color. part I actually I'm going to use um, this this is a gel pen and I just want to um, trace some of the and the tree uh, bits and pieces and I can either do it in a kind of a black or and also in the forest, uh, fortress very nice if you add this kind of um, detailing. This is the final piece. Um, I just finished it yesterday and um, I think it's uh, all to do with the uh, stages in life and uh, thinking about um, uh, what I need to do in my life and what I need to achieve and um, I really enjoyed doing this spread and I'm waiting to see yours if you want. Um, and you, you can do uh, this spread using any stencil that you have. Um, and uh, thank you. It was really a pleasure to, to be with you. <laughs>